Hello guys and welcome back to Earl Sports Bets. I'm Timothy Earl and today I'm going to be breaking down this seven game NBA slate for April 25th, 2021. We got a seven game slate, three free picks for today and one premium that you can go ahead and get over at picksandparlays.net. Uh, it's under a package with uh, under Earl Sports Bets, so go ahead and check that out. Link to the site is in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and support us over there. Um, but we got a seven gamer. Before we jump into it, we'll go ahead and look at yesterday. Uh, started off quite solid, two wins, and then Pelicans got whooped. Bulls lost by five. Pistons lost by five or six, or what did they lose by? Uh... Lost by six. So two of them were close bets that could have easily went our way. Unfortunately, it's the way the cookie crumbles. Those did not go that way today. But um, hopefully we can go ahead and get a good day. Uh, we are 272 and 251 in the NBA today. I hate these freaking ads. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's slate. Uh, we get to start off with the Boston Celtics taking on the Charlotte Hornets. This one starts at 1 o'clock. Gordon Hayward and Ball are out, along with Monk and Williams. So, a couple injuries in this one. Nothing too crazy. Um, minus two, uh, 325 for the Celtics, plus 270 for the Hornets. Eight points spread in this one, over under of 212. Um, I'm going to go under in this one. Early games tend to lean more towards the under, um, especially with Boston and uh, Charlotte. And then in terms of betting it, this one we will be avoiding. Um, we have the Boston Celtics winning this game by 11.1, .1, so it's only a 3.1 value. We're only grabbing stuff above four today, seeing that there is a couple plays of value. Um, next up, we get the Phoenix Suns taken on the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, Harden is out. Durant is questionable. Uh, he is planning on playing Sunday against Phoenix, though, so could be uh, he could be in. But obviously, keep an eye out on that. Other than that, everybody else in this game is good to go. Should be a really good matchup today. Possible a MV, NBA Finals matchup. Uh, minus 120 for the Nets. Plus 100 for the Suns. One and a half point spread now, and a 232 um, over under. By the way, over unders are just leans. We I don't personally bet over unders, um, or if I do, it's very very limited on occasion. If I feel like there's a really really good line, um, but we're gonna lean towards the under. Both these teams have been trending over. Uh, sorry, we're gonna go over. Both these teams have been trending towards the over lately. Uh, Brooklyn is still one of the best scoring teams in the league. Suns are play at a good pace as well. This one should be high tempo. Uh, and then in terms of betting-wise, we are taking the Phoenix Suns in this one um, with no Harden. Uh, Durant possibly out. Uh, and the Suns are still trying to push for a first place in the West. Um, so that's going to be a real big thing for them. Um, so I'm going to be going with the Phoenix Suns plus one and a half in this one. We do have them winning by 3.6. So it's over that five value. We do like the Phoenix Suns in this game. The Memphis Grizzlies, Portland Trailblazers. That game is going to be one of the, the one game that we have our uh, premium pick with. So go ahead and check out picksandparlays.com. Uh, me and Nick mentioned in a video that we're going to be doing that so that we can uh, financially do this. So uh, check out that pick. It's on picksandparlays.net. Um, moving on to the 7 o'clock games. We get to start off with the Cleveland Cavaliers taking on the Washington Wizards. Uh, looking for injuries. Collins Sexton is out along with Rory Hachimura and Therese Prince. Other than that, everybody else is good to go in this one. Minus 350 for the Wizards, plus 260 for the Cavs. Seven and a half points spread on this one, over under of 225. Um... I like going over. Uh, Washington's a high-paced team. I think they're going to be able to control the pace. Um, and this, especially against a Cleveland Cavaliers team, I think Cleveland can play up to tempo as well. Uh, they don't choose to, but they can. 
Uh, so I do like the over in this one. And for this game will be another game that we are avoiding. Um, we have the Wizards win this game by only 4.7. So if anything, a lean towards this Cleveland plus 7.5. It's only a 2.8 value, so not really that good. Um, but we are going to be passing on this game. Next up, we get the Milwaukee Bucks taking on the Atlanta Hawks. Trey Young is out. Clint Capella is questionable. Other than that, everybody else should be good to go for today's game. Minus 240, 240 for the uh, Bucks, plus 200 for the Hawks. Six points spread in this one, over under of 226 and a half. Uh, I'm going to go under. I think this game is going to be a lower scoring game. I think that this one will be a little bit more defensive, especially without Trey Young. That's another 20, 25 points off the board. Um, so. I do think this one can go under. Uh, in terms of betting this one, we do actually like the Milwaukee Bucks in this game. We have them winning by 12, so it creates a six value. Uh, so a solid pick for the Bucks today against the Atlanta Hawks. Next up, we get the Indiana Pacers taking on the Orlando Magic. Minus 222 for the Pacers, plus 192 for the Magic. Six points for this one, over under of 225 and a half. Um, we're going under. Sabonis is questionable. Carter is questionable. Turner is out. Ross is questionable. Michael Carter Williams, Otto Porter are both out. And this is questionable. So, a bunch of injuries. Lower scoring game, uh, especially with an Orlando Magic team who is the worst in the league. Um, so, but besides, the, except for they have not been eliminated yet. Um, but. For this game, we are going to go actually go after the Pacers, minus six in this matchup. Um, we do have them winning by 10 to four value. Uh, so we do like the Indiana Pacers today against the Orlando Magic. Final game, we get a 10 o'clocker of the Sacramento Kings taking on the Golden State Warriors. Uh, minus 315 for the Warriors, plus 265 for the Kings. Seven and a half points for this one. Over under of 230 and a half. DeAndre Fox, uh, Darren Fox is out along with uh, Ricard Holmes, who is questionable. Other than that, everybody else should be good to go on this one. And then, um, in terms of betting it, um, going to lean towards the under with Fox out. Kings should be a little bit slower of a pace. Uh, and then we are going to be fading this game. We do have the Warriors winning this game by 5.5. Uh, so grabbing, leaning towards the Kings plus seven and a half at a two value in this one, but not a, going to be an official bet for today. But that's going to do it for today's video. I want to thank you guys all for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe, like, comment, do all that fun stuff. Um, check out the description, has picks and parlays in there. We do a bunch of stuff over there now as well. Check out our uh, socials, link to those in the description as well, below as well. It's going to do it for today's video. And until next time, let's make some money in the NBA tonight.